I have any problems to my children. And once when I had all of them together, I said, well, there's an activity in America. There's a one-on-one -on -one tournament. And the national champion became the national champion on two separate occasions, 65 years apart. Name the activity. According to Charlie, only one out of eight of his children could answer this riddle. Most couldn't even get close to the right answer. The PhD physicist of the bunch was able to answer the question quickly through leveraging the inversion mental model. Inversion, also known as the Jacobi principle, is a powerful mental model which helps you solve problems faster and easier. The mental model requires you look at things from a different perspective to gain a unique solution. Charlie Munger, the billionaire who helped push mental models into the mainstream, explains inversion like this. You just twist the thing back around and answer it that way. You start from the opposite end of the problem, going from B to A instead of the linear A to B most people are taught. Inversion's roots come from mathematics, a world where inverting a problem often leads to easier solutions. If I ask you to calculate 4% of 25, you might struggle to give me a solution. Perhaps you will need to grab a pen and paper and perform some calculations. Did you know that 4% of 25 is the same as 25% of 4? 25% of 4 is 1, which is a much easier calculation in your head. This is an inversion at work. The famous mathematician Carl Gustav Jacob Jacobi would tell his students, Man muss immer umkehren, which means invert always invert. Inversion mental model in life design. Life is but a game, a series of sequential small bets which result in a particular trajectory. Who should I marry? When should I have kids? Should I even get married? What career should I pursue? Should I quit my job and start a business? We all must answer a plethora of questions along the journey. This is the necessary work when optimizing for happiness and fulfillment. How can we ensure we make the right decision? A good place to start is through studying failure. Use the inversion mental model to see what should be avoided so you don't end up making any catastrophic mistakes. One of Charlie's favorite quotes is, all I want to know is where I'm going to die, so I never go there. The idea is to think of what can go wrong before it happens so you can avoid failure. When you look at people who do not have the happiness you want, you can find common trends. Unhappy people tend to have marital issues. They are addicted to drugs and substances. Many are living a life which their parents wanted them, but ignoring their soul's desires. They have money issues. These people have poor diets, struggle with obesity, and don't get enough sunlight. Often unhappy people do not have a creative outlet and live their whole lives in the socially conditioned machine. When you learn to study failures, you can design your life to avoid the landmines which destroy many people's dreams. You simply do the opposite of what unhappy people do to ensure you're better off. You figure out where you're going to die and you never step foot near that place. A good place to start is by reading Bronnie Ware's book, The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying, and do the opposite of everything she lists. Inversion, mental model, and stock trading. The first rule on investment is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. I mean, that uh, if you buy things for far below what they're worth and you buy a group of them, you basically don't lose money. When most people dabble in the stock market or crypto, they quickly look for investments with high returns. That's the point, right? We want to make some freaking cash. Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger invest differently. They entertain only investments with a large margin of safety investments they understand from businesses which will likely look the same 20 years from now. This is a big reason they love Coke. Coke's formula can be copied or made better easily. Let's be real, it's not groundbreaking. They have done blind taste tests and most people believe Pepsi tastes better than Coke. You're about to take the Pepsi challenge. You know, I have two bottles of cola back here and you don't know which is which. No, I don't. We have never met before. That's correct. Wait. 
Okay. Except for my sister's wedding. <laughs> but beside that, we've never met. Okay. Now I'm going to pick this up and tell me which one you chose. Pepsi. <laughs> You know, in tests like these nationwide, more people prefer to taste the Pepsi over Coca-Cola. Pepsi is much better. It's delicious. It's down nice and smooth. The taste is good. That's great. <laughs> Take the Pepsi challenge. Let your taste decide. Yet Coke is bigger than Pepsi. Coke has something over other soft drink companies. It has brand loyalty and a large distribution network, which reaches the most remote of countries. The brand has been blasted into the collective psyche and is unlikely to fumble anytime soon. These investments likely won't die, and almost guarantee returns. The best way to make lots of money over the long term is by not losing money, avoiding black swan events which engulf many, staying away from folly. Munger and Buffett use inversion to look for investments with asymmetric returns relative to potential losses. This type of investing is about knowing where your money is going to die so you can avoid that investment. Inversion in dieting. Elimination diets use the inversion mental model in an interesting way. Typically, when starting a new diet, you follow set guidelines on what you should eat. If you're jumping on the keto diet, you're increasing your fats, drastically lowering carbs. If you go vegan, you're eliminating meats, dairy, and eggs, and increasing your intake of vegetables, fruits, and nuts. Carnivores are opting in for two ribeye steaks instead of just one. Each diet has a specific guideline you must follow for you to gain the best results. Elimination diets are different. Instead of adding new foods to your diet, you eliminate them. You look at different food groups, for example, tree nuts, dairy, peanuts, fish, shellfish, wheat, soy, eggs, red meats, and so on, and eliminate one group at a time while measuring how you feel. If you feel better without the food group, you can simply eliminate it from your diet entirely. If nothing changes or you feel worse without it, you can reintroduce it. These diets are a good way to find hidden allergies. That's right, the inversion mental model can even be used to make you healthier. Inversion in marketing. Copywriters are marketers who write sales copy and video scripts for advertisements. They are an integral part in any direct response business. The job of a copywriter is to persuade consumers into purchasing a product. Copywriters leverage the inversion mental model when writing their copy. Many copywriters and sales professionals create a list of expected objections and create counter arguments. Good salespeople always think through the lens of the inversion mental model. This is why we need such long copy usually to make, make the sale. You have to overcome a lot of objections a lot of resistance and a lot of obstacles in the person's mind to make even a small sale. They remove themselves from their own limiting frame of reference and put on a different lens so they can see the world from the prospect's perspective. This is inversion 101 and it can make you a lot of money. So how do you use the inversion mental model? Number one, make a list of how you will die. In this step, you will need to create a list of the things which will lead to your demise in a particular endeavor. Let's say you want to start a new car repair business. How will it die? Bad location with no traffic? Unreliable or barely qualified employees? Competitors across the street? Sketchy accountants who butcher your taxes? Bad marketing? Expensive overhead? Machine failures? Number two, study other failures and add to your list. So you might research how others have died chasing their dream. Look for the patterns which keep showing up and don't concern yourself with freak accidents. Perhaps someone's car repair shop blew up due to a local arsonist. This shouldn't concern you because this is unlikely to affect you. In your search, you will find things you didn't think about. So make sure to add them to your list. Things such as failure to renew a relevant license, not paying the tax to local mafia. Number three, make plans to avoid the death. Next, you consciously go through the list and think of ways to eliminate the issue or mitigate the damage they deliver. So for example, the problem, bad location with no traffic. Solution, look only for the warehouses with proven traction, find relevant data, talk to other business owners in a potential location, or pay a kid to count how many cars go past the street in three hours just so you can get gauge of the traffic. You will do this for every single problem on your list. This analytical approach will drastically increase the likelihood of you succeeding in your project. Question, should I drive home drinking? Inversion, I might die and kill innocent pedestrians. 
solution. Catch Uber or don't drink. It can be as simple as that. The inversion mental model is incredibly simple. Take a few minutes before embarking on any important project to consider how it might fail. All you need to know is where you're going to die and then simply avoid that location. Do this and I promise you'll be one step closer to living and dying well. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell notifications so we can see more of each other. Until next time.